Okay, watching this, uh, looking at your work, you're very close. I see you have um, the general setup correct. You've got z equaling, and then you found the slope for x and y, um, where you see, okay, each 1 million increase in brand x causes a 2.6 million decline in z. So, so therefore, ev for every 1 that x goes up, z goes down 2.6, change in so a change in output over change in input, um, or change in dependent variable over change in independent variable, or rise over run, however you want to look at slope, there it is. So you're changing, you're going down 2.6 in the z for every increase of 1 in the y. Excuse me, 1 in the x. And you have that right. Now, do I really need the divided by 1? Of course not, but just for emphasis, I put it there. So really, what we'd be looking at here is just the negative 2.6. Then, looking at your y, what's the slope in the y direction? Well, when we go through and find that, uh, each 1 million increase in y, so that's your input, so that's the denominator, there is an increase of 0.9, so plus 0.9y. All right, so now the question is, is just what's our intercept? What is our b? Um, so, oops, I, excuse me, my wrist just hit that. Um, so what is our b? What is the thing we, we need to substitute in here? Well, now we need our ordered pair. So find one data value, one value that they gave us to substitute in. Well, you'll see, let me bring up my highlighter. You'll see right here, they say, brands X, Y, and Z, each selling $6 million per year. So what we know is that right now, we know that when uh, X sells six, Y sells six, Z sells six. That's our ordered pair. So we can use this, or ordered triplet, excuse me. We have uh, three values, so it's a triplet. Um, so we can use this to find our B. So we sub in. We know six is equal to negative 2.6 times six plus 0 0.9 times six plus B. Solve the, you know, then now you only have one thing to solve for, solve for B, uh, you'll get your answer. B equals something, now you can sub that back in. Hope that helps.